This is the 2022 Fleetwood Discovery 36Q. This has a diesel engine. It's 360 horsepower. This is a beautiful coach. Let's start up here at the front. This looks like a command center. Look at this. It has a digital display. You have your radio. You have your cameras. You have everything you need right here within arm's reach for the driver. These seats are very thick and comfortable. Both are power. And that one reclines. One unusual feature I've noticed is this actually has a hide aloft bed. I don't see that in many pieces. And it has cabinetry throughout. Lots of storage space up here next to the driver. This is where all of your internet equipment is. You have your center TV here. And here's your King Air satellite. So it's not really storage? No, not quite. All right, here we are in the living area, and we have plenty of above couch storage. And we also have this nice reclining sofa. Oh, my oh wow, look at that. Hey, John, does that have heated seats? You know what? It does not. So, no toasty buns, John? No toasty buns, but look. A light? A nifty light, so I can find my drink in the dark. All right. And then from when you're sitting here, you look across and there's your television. Is that on a televator, John? Let me check. Mm -hmm. The TV is mounted to the wall, not on a televator. Nice comfy couch here. Does that come out into a bed, John? I believe it does. Yes, it's a fold-out bed. Over top of the couch and above the TV yeah, is this yeah, lovely yeah, sound yeah, bar. Look at that, it's hidden in there. And you have your TV equipment here with a Blu-ray player. And on this side we have storage. We have lots of accent lighting here. We have these large drawers. And they're lit. Well, that's well, from the that's accent like lighting. lighting. <laughs> Once you go down, no, I think they're all... Are they all lit or is it just going It's through? just the accent lighting. Oh. There's no light back in there. And a oh, large one at the, the bottom. Two feet before it comes in. Look at that. Adjustable shelf. Yeah. And on this side. Oh, I like that. Well, I don't know if I like that. Because to get to the bottom, the stuff on the bottom could be challenging for some people. It could be. Yeah. That is true. And here we have a two burner induction cook. Cooktop. Now is that removable? No, it's not. No. That's fixed. Okay. Yeah, that one's fixed. And we'll put these back. We do have two Power, power towers. Power towers, one on each end, and this big picture window with this nice backsplash. Oh. And unique to the Discovery is this island. And this also has accent lighting, storage, and a dishwasher. See, now that's what I need. That's what I'm talking about. We need dishwashers. Oh, look, Give me a chance the trash can. Now this, this makes it all worthwhile. Yes. This is like, what, a $70 trash can? Something like that. <laughs> That's probably what they charge you for it. Let's get that back under there. Check out this storage. Oh, wait. Oh, you don't know your own strength, John. I know. I must oh, it's an access panel. Yeah, look at okay. that. Okay. And we have the deep sink here. This is on the island, right? This is on the island, yes. Okay. And as usual, this one is like ours. This lovely table. All right, this comes out and then it rotates. Yeah, you have to reach way up under, grab two things, pull them together, and there you go. And now you can seat, what, four people? Four. And this also comes with two additional chairs. Yes, they're yes. back in the storage area. All right, so now all I have to do is that. Now, in order to buy this diesel, you have to figure out how to rotate that table. Yes, you it's do. It's a requirement. <laughs> That was an so, operation. Yeah. All right, and over the dinette, we also have plenty of deep storage. But what? I'm watching John. It's felted, felt line. <laughs> this is a very nice residential refrigerator. Look at that. Nice and cold in there. We have upper cabinet space here and on 
the left side of the Let me see Michael. if it is done. Look at this. Adjustable shelf. Rushing through this, locking us out. We but have people want customers. to see it, John. They want to see it. You can't Look lock them the out, size John. Of this. Nice. That's they, all right, so now we're ready for the bathroom. Did you want to see the lovely light on the ceiling? Okay, we'll look at the lovely that's light right. that's up on the ceiling. This is like in the south wind, I think. The south wind it has is. a light like that. It is, to the south wind, yep. yes. Light, beige, gray. Yeah. All right, now we're entering the bathroom area with this door that shuts it off from the passenger area. All right, welcome to the bathroom, where we have this lovely vanity. Mm -hmm. Matching tile work. Nice little sink with storage under. That's a lot of storage there. And then we close this door. We have the shower. The shower. Now, for diesel, this is a little disappointing. I mean, it's high, but even ours has a you little seat. Yeah, you don't have as much room as you have in ours. But then you have the island, right? So everything's a trade-off. Yes, everything's a trade-off. Everything's a trade-off. You have a toilet closet. Yes, you can go in the closet. Lots of room in there. <laughs> and I see this bed folds a little differently when it's in, I guess. It's shorter, but it has a... Um, is this power bed? No. I can't tell. Let's see what's down here. What does that say? Those are, says, there's a switch here, up and down. Yeah, so it's a reclining bed. It's an adjustable bed. It's That's an nice. adjustable bed. It's very nice. And storage up above. Now, is there room for a CPAP machine oh, up there? There's room for suitcases in here. I know, but is there a hole for the CPAP machine? There mm -hmm. is not that I can see. Now. That's very disappointing. It is because the shelving is a bit small. And you have your speakers right here, too? Yes, you have speakers to the left and right. Mm -hmm. And here's your. Okay, sliding guys, door. wait, 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 wait. I'm going to point this out because. Oh, no, one of the caps. This is a cap off. that goes on here. Like, there's no reason to make stuff like this. There's, there's lots of ways to make things accessible. When you're paying, the amount of money you're paying for that, I don't want to play bottle caps. No. And that's exactly what it looks like a bottle cap. And there are the chairs for the dinette and the ladder for the hide wall. It's a nice big closet. And I like this slant here that's good for putting shoes. It is very, it looks like it's made for that. Oh, louvered doors, I wonder. Yes. Washer Wash dryer. dryer. Nice size. Oh. Now, is that television? TV pivot all, pivoted all or is it stuck there? The TV is stuck where it is. Okay, and then you're you're hidden behind the TV storage, which I really wonder if that's hidden. <laughs> Not anymore. A small little side thing, but hey, it joins your head, me. man, your head. My head's big. <gasps> Finally, he admits it. Brain. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> nice closet. With slide out drawers. I like these drawers. They actually finished a part of them. <laughs> Not the whole thing. I don't understand that with RV manufacturers. <laughs> Folks, put That's down in the comments below <laughs> if you know why RV manufacturers don't finish their product. And put down in the comments below if you would like to see them finish their product. There's no reason to not at least stay in it when you're paying over $300,000 for an RV. Can you tell this is one of her pet peeves? It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh. Until we start saying stuff, they won't do anything. That's right. Speak up, people. <laughs> you're right. All right, oh, and we didn't notice these doors. Are these actual doors? Oh, this is where your, control your panel. panel is. Your control panel for your fuses and things, see? Yeah, your breaker. Reverse. All right. All right. That so John, is this. That is the inside of this one. I don't think we're going to do the outside. There's just too much going on today. So tell me, John, what is your pet peeve on this? Well, I, I do think the, the main problem is two things. The low end models have the CPAP um, access. For, which you need. Which I do need. And the shower is rather tiny. I don't think it has to be that small just because you have an island. Okay, that's fair. All right, so it's time for my favorite feature. I'm going to pick two because i that's better than what I've been doing. I'm going to have only two. I love, 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 love all of this counter space and all of this counter space. I love all of this counter space. My next favorite feature is I love that this table turns around so that you can sit for, so that you can have a workstation, plus you can also have people sit down to the table for dinner. Now it's time for the fit and finish, perceived 
build quality, for the most part, I think everything in here looks pretty good, John. Yeah, for this level of coach, it should be good. I mean, this is a Fleetwood Discovery diesel. My only two things, and I've already said it in the video, is I really think they need to do a better job of finishing those cabinets. It should yes. be more like residential type cabinets. And then my other thing is... Little things, I, like, little this. things like this. <laughs> I mean, that really? Ruins, that ruins your experience. It's like a bottle cap. I know it's supposed to, to cover to up you, a hole. Yeah, it's access to the screws. Guys. I'm gonna put it in, but look, it's not even tight. Oh, that's why. I po oh, See that? Wow, they're not tight enough. None of them are tight, right? So. Oh my gosh. Th that's an, a problem that's very easily fixed. We've seen yeah. a better job they made the in other in. coaches. You don't even. I mean, there are lots of ways to get access to a panel. Like you could have like. Um, you don't even have to have those things. You can have like something that you like a handle. You put your hand in and pull it up. That's true. So there are lots of ways to fix that. So John, I am thinking. It's hard for me to say this on a Fleetwood, but a nine out of ten. I'd say a nine. Yes, it's a little. That's just a little thing down there. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Please put down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this model, and uh, we're on to the next one. Yeah. All right.